My name is Denver. I'm like Colorado, but Denver, not Colorado, but Denver Blair Nash. People that were the mentors were all the generation above. You know, it's like, ooh, a neighbor. I, I hope they don't talk to me while I'm unloading groceries or something. You it's know, such a different world. Uh, we're we're almost taught by the media to fear our neighbors. Color, height, weight, and really. That's called discrimination. It was a criminal, very corrupt healthcare system, as you probably have experienced through all your interviews and people's uh, people's responses to you. So I'm a first responder. We're almost doing it for free. They're all volunteers out here. We go out in the middle of the night. We can't even pay for our fuel a lot of times. I just watch this incredible degradation. It just feels so different. I don't think my doctor cares at all. A lot of times she's told me that I'm really overweight and send you out with yet another prescription. If you're on the other end of it, it's kind of like you're living every day just waiting. They really did seem to understand that medicine was an art. The increasing suicide rate. All those people are gone now. Anxiety and depression among young people. They couldn't go because they don't have the money to pay for it. My insurance stopped covering my asthma inhaler. I gotta pay out of my pocket a lot of money for insulin. 200 bucks for it. Prevents me from keeping the same doctor. I just figure I'll stay healthy as long as I can, and when I can, I'll drop dead. This should be like a huge wake-up call. Warning us about the fact that we're in trouble in this country, and we really need to do something about it. You cannot wear blinders and just go in one way. You have to open up and look at everything, and we have to go with what the data tells us. So I'm thinking about going to New York City this weekend. It's hard to work in an industry and defend an industry when you know that that... If in medicine our goal is to treat the patient... Those types of errors and omissions are happening all the time. Then shouldn't it be good to also listen to them? I had a meeting once when I was at Mental Health America. I think this might be kind of terrifying. With uh, the, the director of the National Institutes of Health. If I'm really going to get any message, I think that's where I should go. Great guy, Francis Collins. He's still the director of the NIH. Make a child. Maybe I can make a video out of it or something. Excuse my voice. It's a diverse place, so you have a lot of different people from all around the world, so it's almost like a metaphor of like, you know, in today's world, you think of patients and it's like they feel silhouetted on an empty canvas. This is the sickest model of business I've ever seen in my life. The next major era in public health will be... I kind of want to find that art of medicine, but I think, I think if we just start by just passing the mic or, you know, and we hear these people in New York City, then maybe... Figure out, like, how are we going to do this? It's like, it's going to take a revolution. A lot of this stuff would start fixing itself, because once people actually start caring, yep. things get done. It's just making people care and yep. care more than, oh, let me just share this on Facebook real quick. And we know a lot uh, about what we can uh, and, uh, and should do. We can prevent the onset, or we can seriously slow down the progression of the disease. The big shift moving forward is in 25 years, you're going to look back at this tape and these conversations and stuff and, and laugh at what jackasses we were. But we people, it's time to awake and uh, mm -hmm. the values need to be on humanity. Waiting. The universe kind of mandated. Waiting for something. Massive timeout for the planet. Come back and haunt me. We need to wake up. Just like it used to. And I think it's starting to happen. Yes, I'm right here. So that way you can, you can show the children. Waiting and watching. Yeah, this next generation, the way to go, the way to live, the way to, way to be.